Moscú. Hello, everyone. Let's go deeper into this project. We wanted this pole removed to gain more space, and what I thought would be a fun little short on YouTube got a lot more attention than I'm used to on my small art channel. I noticed a lot of concern about the safety of this project, some perhaps true, I admit, but now I will walk you through step by step what materials were used, the measurements, and what supports the garage now without the pole. Everything has been calculated by a real structural engineer, if that helps. First, the garage is 5 meters by 4.5 meters and 2.4 meters high. There are two poles holding the roof on one side and a brick wall on the other. The roof is a thin steel roof with a plastic layer. It is held up by five cross beams, split in two in the middle, and held up by a big center beam, previously supported by this legendary pole, which we removed. The way we supported the structure without the pole was to attach extra wood across the first cross beam. We both glued it on under tension and screwed it in multiple places. We even placed extra support in the middle area, because that would be the weakest place without the pole. As for the other four crossbeams, we strengthened the middle part, where the two halves of the crossbeams previously rested on the big center beam, also with wood glue and screws. So, that's the full breakdown. The garage is safe, secure, and not coming down unless it does. In which case, well, it will be great content, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more home renovation videos.